The goal was to come in and fight, you know, to get the best training that I could have possibly get, to be prepared for a stand-up or a ground game. And, you know, like I said, you know, whether the fight goes to the ground or stand-up, you know, I'm, I'm going to come in and fight, but be smart about it. You got to be smart about it at this level of the game, you know? How surprised were you at his game plan? Say it again. How surprised were you at his game plan? Um, I, I, I kind of, we, we kind of trained and we were prepared for somewhat of his, you know, attacks, but I wasn't prepared for the for the ring riding that he did. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't prepared for that. Was How's it your, your knee? Um, the knee's fine. It's the shin that took a little beating in there. Uh, is it? You think is it just a bone bruise or is it bruised or something like that? Nada. It's fine. Kimbo, beyond the win, were you happy with your performance? Um, I would have preferred to knock him out. I could have used that extra quarter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, it went the way it went. You know what I'm saying? You got to be happy with a victory regardless of how that comes. Legitimately, though. Kimbo, was it difficult for you to, to stay patient um, when, when Alexander was a little tentative to engage? Um, no, nah, no, nah, because... Um, if I would have ran in there foolishly, I, I would have gotten knocked out. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't difficult to stay patient, but I was like, "Come on, man! You know, let's let's." A few times, I, I you know, I just you know called him out. You know, I had to, you know, I had to, you know, you know, call him out his name. I had to say some things in the ring, like you know, let's let's do this. In so many words, you know, I reverted back to the streets a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Verbally, but he didn't engage. He stuck to his plan. So I said, "Well, I'm not gonna be foolish and run up on him." You know, I'm going to be a smart fighter as well. How did you feel when it went to the ground? Were, were you, uh, very, I mean, obviously you were patient. It worked out good for you. How did you feel when it hit the ground? Um, I, 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 I wasn't, I'm not going to say I was in my comfort zone. I was, you know, I, I, knew, I knew a few things, enough to where, enough to where, you know, we were able to, you know, get back up. I, you know, try to, try to a couple of little ground and pound here and there. If I would have saw the opportunity for a submission, I would have went for it. Can you try for a choke at one point? It looked like you. Yeah, I, I, I try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask you, uh, Kimbo, about you know uh, Houston's failure to engage with you. And this is a guy that knocked out uh, Keith Sardine, you know, right. a very respected guy. Were you anticipating him being that wary of your punching power, given who he's fought and what he's done before? I would say no. Did that throw you off at all? No, it didn't throw me off. If it would have threw me off, then you would have saw me rushing in. Mm -hmm. I didn't rush in there. Kimball, what went through your mind when uh, you started to put that choke in? Did anything go through your mind? Like, man, my first win could be a submission? No, what went through my mind was that I knew I didn't have it successfully. So I didn't, I didn't want to exert a whole, bunch of, a whole lot of energy on a hole I knew wasn't, it wasn't guaranteed. It wasn't a guaranteed hole. So I just went ahead and tried to, you know, I said, okay, I got to break, break. I got to let the hole go, you know, but be smart about it and, and, you know, either work for something else, look for something else. If not, you know, get back on my feet and be banging out. When you took his back, I mean, were you thinking about a submission all or were you kind of just trying to think about how to No, no, no. I, when I took his back, I was going for a choke hole. I was going to either go for um, the, the red naked or, you know what I'm saying, I was going to go for 10 fingers. So, you know, when I realized I, I didn't have it as good, you know, and he, he rolled, he turned into me. I just went ahead and then tried to look for something else. Kim, well, Did he say anything to you? Because, you know, all the smack he talked, did he congratulate you or say anything to you after the fight? No, nah, we didn't get a chance to wrap here. Kim, well, there was a lot of discussion about your weight before and how tough that cut was. How did that affect you tonight? Um, I don't think it affected me at all. I, mean, I put all that, I put some weight back on last night. I ordered up room service <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> twice. <laughs> you know. So this, this catch weight or, or light heavyweights it kind of out of the question in the future, or do you think you can get back down there? Again, I, I leave that to my guys, man. I got a smart team, you know, Mark Brennan Associates, my guy Icy Mike, you know what I'm saying, and I let those guys with Dana and, you know, the matchmakers figure it out and we work something out. I trust their judgment as far as my future is concerned in the UFC. Did you think you hit as hard at this weight as you had at 240? If I have knocked him out, I would have told you, yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't really drop him like I wanted to. He was a good fighter. He knew how to roll with the punches. He kept riding the ring, and you know I, I landed a couple of good ones, but you know that was just like the keep still type of punch, rather than I'm gonna knock your head off type of punch. If you can understand what I'm saying. Yeah, but did it frustrate you running around the ring like that? No, nah, he didn't frustrate me. You know what I'm saying? Um, he didn't frustrate me. I, I, I just, I was more like, come on, man, let's bang. You know, he, he didn't frustrate me. <clears throat>
one point when he hit you and you said you sort of saw the blood on your mouth and you said, all right, let's do it. What was going through your head right there? I was ready to bang then, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm going to make sure you bleed. Like, man, you made me bleed, you know. Man, you got to thump now. But he kept riding the ring, you know. Did, did you have to fight your instincts not to, to jump in? And yeah, rush? That, no, that was hard. I, I, was, I was really thinking street while I was, woo. I, I did for a minute, but then I had to, I had to bite down, you know, you know, someone told me before, bite down hard and then fight smart. I see you back then, Mike. I remember. <laughs> I bit down hard and I just stayed smart with, with, with what, I, what I know, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's not an easy thing, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I first was a street fighter, you know what I'm saying? And being a street fighter, there, there, there was no training in, in, in my style of fighting. You know what I'm saying? I just went in there based on my instincts, watching the guy's movement and, and, and encountering him. But at this level of the game, and as a professional fighter in the UFC, you gotta you have to be like, like almost genius type smart because you have all these dimensions. You have to bottle in one, and you just gotta know when to counter and when to not hit, when to not engage, and try to wait it out. And it's a lot you gotta, you gotta go through, you know. Are you concerned at all that that affects kind of your reputation as the the brawler, the, but or do you feel like that shows your maturity as a as a mixed martial artist? It shows the maturity as a mixed martial artist. Would you like to fight Roy again? Here? I don't care, to be honest with you. It don't matter to me. Obviously, it wouldn't be a catch weight. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Kimbo, what do you think of the crowd booing at the end? Um, I mean, and, and throughout the fight. I mean, you know, I, I, I would have booed too, you know what I'm saying? He rolled the ring a lot, you know. I, I, I wanted to bang, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, let's bang, you know. But that, maybe that was part of his strategy, but... You know, they're, they're the crowd, they're there to be entertained, you know what I'm saying, and we're the entertainer, so, you know, they booed, they booed because they weren't, they weren't happy at the time, but as we engaged, you know, the cheers went on, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, you got to give and take a boo here, a boo there, a cheer here, a cheer there, it, it's, it's part of the territory, it's the nature of the beast. Do you think it was a game plan, Kimbo, or do you think that, that he was scared? Probably his game plan. You know what I'm saying? He might have been a little fear too, I don't know. But he he, he banged, you know, caught me a couple of times. You know, busted up a little bit. But you know, it, I think it was more of a game plan than anything else. Kimbo, were you surprised when he didn't jump on you after he caught you with the, with the leg kick that, that, that took you down? Um I don't know, you know. I I I, I don't know, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't answer that one. <laughs>